Hey guys, welcome to my channel and in this video, I'm going to talk about a requirement that I come across frequently wherein my clients ask for a solution to import existing resources from an AWS account and create a cloud formation or Terraform template to deploy it later. Let's have a look at this tool that can help us achieve the same known as Former2. You can reach out to this website former2.com and this is the dashboard how it looks like for the very first time when you log on onto the website. First thing that you need to do to be able to set up and use this tool is to go through the setup process itself. Setup process goes through four steps. The first step is to install Google Chrome extension. You can click on this link and that's the Google Chrome extension. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to go through this installation process again, but it's fairly simple. Since we have already completed step one, I'm going to move to step two. In step two, it's asking for IAM credentials that I'll have to provide to proceed further. If you read the information provided here, it says that you need to have an IAM user with read-only access. That's the only permission that you will have to provide for it to scan the account and learn about the resources which are available within the account that you can choose to create your cloud formation or Terraform template from. So I'm going to do that job. I'm logged in into my account, AWS account. Here I'm going to open up IAM module, Identity and Access Management. In this, I'm going to click on Users and Add User. I will give it a name, Former2. The only credential type that I'm going to create is access key because that's what I need. I need access key ID and secret access key. So let's move on to permissions. I want to attach an existing policy. Now attaching an existing policy will give this user former two the permissions to read information from my account. Now for this user, the permissions that we are searching for is read only access. Scrolling down, you can find read only access. Select this as a permission that we want to associate with former2. So that way, the user former2 will get read only access to all the resources within this AWS account. And that's it. I click on create user. You may want to download the .csv file and keep it because the access key ID can be retrieved using IAM, but you will not be able to retrieve the secret access key. So I'm going to copy this access key ID, go over to former two, where it says, enter your IAM credentials, paste the IAM credential here. I'm going to repeat the same process for secret access key. We are going to select it and I'm going to paste it here. Now, if you wait for some time, say, five seconds or so, you will find it shows the username at whatever is your account number. That way it is verified that I'll be logged in. If I'm going to continue with this, I'll be logged in as former two. I'm going to keep it simple. The third process is optional. If you want to specify some parameters that you may want to use with your cloud formation stack, you can add it here. And I'm going to continue to settings. That's it. You can play around with all of these options which are provided. I'm simply going to click on scan my account for resources. It has completed the scan. We are almost through with all the process. Now I can select the service category. For example, I may want to use EC2 instances. So if I click on EC2, since it has already scanned for all the resources in my account, it is showing me all the resources within. So I do have two EC2 instances that I've created. I want to add this demo instance and I want to add this S3 bucket. So you need to select the resource, click on add selected. I will do the same thing with demo instance, add selected. Now here you can see it says, generate the template for two resources that you've selected. So if I can click on generate, the generate button is going to generate a cloud formation template that I can use. Now it's not just cloud formation. If I click on Terraform, it's also going to create a code for Terraform. You can copy this from here and maybe save it, create a template file. The code that I copied there, I'm simply going to paste it here. 
and you need to save it as a terraform file so i can save it as main.tf and maybe if you want to do the same thing for creating a cloud formation template you just need to click on the output as cloud formation copy this and save the file now since these templates are ready i can go to cloud formation and i can deploy the same what it's going to do is it's going to create a bucket with the name and it's going to create an ec2 instance with all the specific settings mentioned over here now for those who are concerned about security passing on your iam credential to a website you can visit the github page for former 2 and download the tool from the github account you can click on code and download zip i was able to download the zip file and as you can see i have a directory former 2 you will be able to find all the files here what you need to do is install a web server and paste all the content that you find in this directory over to the document root of the web server i already have a web server installed in this machine and the document root happens to be html directory and if you see this i have pasted the entire folder here now if i visit this website and try to type in the ip address slash former2 that's the directory where i've kept all the content that's the ip address of my virtual machine and i type in slash former2 it opens up the application here so this is for people those who are concerned about security to tell you you can use this application on localhost as well thank you so much guys hope this video was informative do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and colleagues